There are several ways that starting a YouTube channel can help you grow as a freelancer. Yes, it can. In the beginning, you may not have an idea or a niche, but just start. Just, just start putting stuff out there. You know, if you don't, there's so many ways to do it now. I don't want to be seen on camera. That's okay. There's hundreds and thousands of faceless channels. Uh, or you can even do what I'm just doing right now, reading articles back to people. Because some people just don't want to read. <laughs> there's somebody out there who does not want to read this article, but they will listen to somebody read that article to them. Audible, <laughs> right? Audible. Half the books I've read this the last couple of years have been Audible books. So you can do something like that. It says you can, of course, start a YouTube channel as a hobby. We recommend not thinking about which niche pays the most, because if you don't find them interesting, you won't stick with them a hundred percent. If you come into the game thinking, I want to make this much money, wrong. You need to come in here with a passion because you're not going to make no money in the beginning. I, I, I went a year and a half before I made my first 25 cents on YouTube. And then when I did, my wife laughed at me. She's like, why are you doing that? You spent all this time and you made 25 cents. And it's not about that. It was about me filming with my camera and having fun and enjoying that and wanting to share that love to people. So many people get caught up into coming in here thinking they're going to make the next quick buck. You probably have higher percentages doing some pyramid scheme than you would. Long, YouTube is long term. Uh, as Sean Kennel says, it is not a sprint, it is a marathon, and it is true. If you do not come in here thinking that, like, okay, this is going to be three years down the line, a year down the line, you, you're going to be distraught, right? So just think long term, okay? Let's see, let's scroll up here. That was such a great line, that's why it was underlined. Next one, starting photography. Whoo! That's how I even started this whole thing. Before I was making videos on my phone, I was just taking photos, photography. I live in Japan, so many photo opportunities. And I was like, how can I improve my photos? How can I improve my photography? Which led to, hey, let me just hit record and record a short video. And then that just morphed into what I'm doing today. But definitely photography is a good way to get in. I mean, people are like, you don't have to always just think about, you got to take pictures of people. I started taking, the very first thing I started taking photos of consistently were flowers. They don't get, they don't give, look at you weird when you take a picture. You don't get, you're not going to get nervous taking a picture of a flower, right? And then you're not going to get weirded out if somebody's looking at you taking a picture of a flower. Go out. Photography nature. It's the easiest way to get into photography with the less awkward feeling. I'm, I've been morphing into street photography, not the traditional taking pictures of people, you know, walking around and like these, some of these days people are just taking photos of people and posting them on it. That's not my vibe. My vibe is in street photography is interesting angles, geography, you know, not ge yeah, even geography, geometry, finding interesting geometry, lights, shadow, you know, situations inside of here in Japan, which is like just, you know, an alleyway in Japan is completely different than an alleyway in America. So that's, I'm kind of finding where where I'm fitting in this whole street photography thing. Because I don't like taking pictures of people. Uh, it, it doesn't make me feel comfortable, so why should I take a picture of somebody and post it online? So, you know, I'm finding where, what I like to do and the things that I'm into. So you gotta find your niche there. 